All right, what's up, guys? Um, today, I'd like to talk about um, essentially lucid dreaming devices, you know, lucid dreaming masks, the sort of technology you can buy. Uh, there's been a lot of different uh, projects on Kickstarter, on, uh, on all sorts of kickstarting crowdfunding campaign uh, websites. And really, there's just so many things out there, so many different, you know, lucid dreaming technology you can get um, that it's really hard to know which one's best, uh, how they work, and, you know, how you can use them. Because each one seems to have, you know, this new and exciting uh, video which sort of teases you into, you know, funding it and, and investing in these things. Um, and they all seem more impressive than the last. You know, I'm sure you've heard of, for example, let, let me just list a few that you may have heard of. You've got the iBand, you've got the Sleep Shepherd, Lucid Catcher, uh, the Aurora. There are all sorts of lucid dream masks and devices like this. Um, and each one seems to have this really impressive, like, punchy video. Uh, that says, you know, buy this mask and you'll lucid dream. And I really wanted to just make this video just to sort of compare uh, a few of them and really talk about how they work and how you can actually use them to lucid dream. Um, because if you were like me, you know, when when I first started lucid dreaming, there wasn't really much out there. I think the Remy mask, the Remy, however you say it, I think that was one of the first ones that I remember from back, back then. This was a few years ago. Um, but even then I remember thinking, well, how is this mask going to just help me automatically lucid dream? How can it actually enter my subconscious mind and help me become aware? And I think the way that mask, that particular mask worked was through, uh, flashing LEDs, which sort of detected when you're in REM sleep, rapid eye movement state, uh, sleep and, um, and play, uh, sort of flash these LEDs in your eyes, which was the idea was they were supposed to go into your dream. Uh, so in the dream, you'd see like a flashing red light in the sky or something like that uh, and train yourself to remember or recognize that that means you're dreaming. Um, and, you know, I think I, I had a bit of, uh, I did a bit of experimenting with this sort of mask and I don't remember it doing much for me. Um, it was only until about a year or two later that I really started playing with things like binaural beats um, and that I really started getting some results and started actually seeing a difference in my lucid dreaming and not just sort of, um, you know, one, t one day I'm not lucid, the next day I'm lucid, but more like a, a consistent sort of improvement on my dreams over, say, several months. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So firstly, when you watch these videos, just bear in mind that these, these are companies, they are obviously trying to make money, as any company would. Um, and you have to be a bit skeptical of, not all of them, but you have to at least look at how they're supposed to work. Okay. So at the moment, the, the most sort of pioneering or promising ways of inducing a lucid dream through technology, um, you've got, you've got two, two or three different things. You've got firstly, um, the, the ones that sort of give you stimulation, they detect when you're in REM sleep through the use of an EEG, which sort of senses your brain waves. Um, and then they respond to that by playing either sounds through headphones uh, binaural beats through headphones as well, uh, or they will flash things in your eyes, so like LED lights or, or that sort of thing. Now, they can work, but I find that they're not as effective. They don't seem, they do work and they can work, um, but you have to sort of work with them. And what I mean by that is you don't just put these those sorts of masks on and then automatically have a lucid dream, because it just doesn't work like that, you know. You need to actually train yourself and practice re recognizing the the stimuli that they're giving you, the lights and the auditory simulation. You need to practice recognizing that and then training yourself to become lucid as a result of that. It's like you're sort of using the mask as a reality check. But you need to put the work in, otherwise it won't do anything. It will just make you have a, a slightly disjointed sleep and you'll wake up feeling a bit tired. You won't have a lucid dream unless you really understand that you need to work with these sorts of masks. The ones that flash lights and play sounds in your ears, they do work, but you need to work with them. You need to practice lucid dreaming techniques like the things I teach in the boot camp um, alongside using the mask. And when you do that, it will be a case of one plus one makes three. You know, you will actually uh, get better results if you're doing the two in tandem. That's important. You need to do uh, the, the things like reality checks, writing your dreams down, meditation, uh, practicing lucid living and all day awareness, that sort of thing. You need to do that in tandem with using the lucid dreaming masks that flash LEDs in your eyes, play sounds, that sort of thing. So that's the one, one case of effects. You've got those sorts of masks and they work well, but you need to put in the effort with them. Now, then you've got the other sort of masks. That, now, there aren't many of these at the moment. I think the iBand might be doing something like this. 
um, but I can't quite remember. But the main one is what's called the Lucid Catcher. Now, the Lucid Catcher is is very different to any other mask that is intended to lucid dream or help you lucid dream because not only does it detect your brain waves and, and give you stimulation, but it also directly um, sort of stimulates your brain waves using electricity. And I know this is going to sound a bit crazy, but it does sort of inject, not inject, it sort of stimulates your brain with small electrical charges, uh, which are designed and sort of placed it's at strategic places on your head um, that it will actually change your brainwave state and move you towards a lucid state and uh, this is obviously all very new this is all very uh, fresh it's a you know, very new industry uh, we don't we haven't done a lot of studies on this sort of thing because it's well because of that it's simply brand new no one's really done this before uh, but what I can say is I did try it it did work okay uh, and there are various testimonials of, of this, uh, of the Lucid Catcher on the internet that you can have a look at. Um, but the way it works really is it's all to do with the microchip in the actual device. So the device, I haven't got one with me, but it's upstairs. Uh, it's like a sort of oval shaped uh, mask that you strap on and you strap it on and sort of attach these, uh, these sort of sensors uh, sticky pads onto the side of your head and I think I think actually the update is you don't have to do that you know you just put the mask on and there's sort of this other thing that you attach around the back of your head um, and it will actually stimulate your brain using electricity it will give you small electrical charges at strategic times during the night which will move you towards a lucid state now with that sort of mask with the sort of mask that can do that you don't really need to put in as much or even any work I would say compared to the other type of mask where you do so that's really the two sort of situations that you have. Okay, you've got the one mask which electrically stimulates your brain and sort of does the work for you, but it's more expensive. Okay, it's several hundred dollars. And then you've got the other sort of mask which you can pick up very cheaply. Uh, for example, the Remy, Remy Lucid Remy mask, that's, I think that's about $40, $50. You can get that on eBay. There are various resellers of that. And it's very affordable. So what I would suggest as a beginner, if you just don't know which mask to get, you don't know what to do, Pick up a Remy, learn how to lucid dream without it, and then try and lucid dream with it. So I would suggest going through my boot camp. Links, these links, by the way, will all be in the description. Uh, there'll be links to all the different types of lucid dreaming masks you can get, um, with, along with a discount. You, on most of the links you click, there should be a discount I've arranged for you guys. Um, but if not, it will just take you to the site and you can read testimonials, you can watch the videos, that sort of thing. So yeah, I would recommend going through the boot camp getting a cheap lucid dreaming mask to begin with, like the, the Remy, and then just learning how it works and learning to use it alongside what you already know. And then when you've done a bit of that, you understand how it works, then you can maybe move on to the more expensive, uh, sort of higher spec lucid dreaming mask, like the Lucid Catcher, like the I-Band, um, and like I think the Aurora is quite a promising one as well. And there has been talk of another one called the uh, Lucid Dreamer, but they haven't been very responsive to messages and they haven't really posted many updates recently. So hopefully they will because it looks very promising. But at the moment, you've got the Lucid Catcher, which is definitely in production, and the iBand, which is launching soon, I think this year. Uh, I may be wrong. Anyway, so that's it, guys. Like I said, you can get discounts on all these things below in the description. Um, but what I would suggest is going through the boot camp or, or any other Lucid Dreaming course, really. Uh, I'll just obviously, I created the boot camp, so I know it's quite effective. Uh, but however you want to learn how to lucid dream, do that, and do that alongside using something cheap like the uh, the Remy, and that's it. That's really it, guys. You don't even need lucid dreaming masks to lucid dream. Uh, they obviously can help, and they do help. Uh, but really, first, I would suggest just learning how it works without this sort of technology, and then when you do use it, it's just going to make it easier. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.